Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got qualms with me. 2-1 win at the Emirates against Fulham. Nervy moments. Yes. But we've got the job done in the end. It's looking very good for Arsenal right now, qualms. Four wins, four games, top of the league. I'm very happy. Um, that was a that was a tough battle for us. Yeah. Fulham played well. I know a lot of people said before that you know Fulham they did turn up. They set up themselves very well. They defended very well. So a big shout out to even their back line. Tozin, yeah. uh, who was the other one? T Tete, Reem, mm. winning balls in the air. They they actually gave us a challenge. And you know what? I asked. I was speaking to my boy in a week because they were like, "Oh, you must be gas, man." Arsenal are doing. They're looking good, man. They're looking. They're serious. And I said, "Look, we haven't been tested yet." I said, "The one time I will know about my team is when we go a goal." down or two goals down and right. we have to make it back and I even said in the live I said look this is this is the moment now and I'm kind of happy I'm not actually kind of happy I'm very happy because yeah. they proved me right in terms of you got a leader stepping up Odegaard our captain getting a goal questions I questioned him last season he needs to take more shots he needs to get more goals he's been doing it this season and that's why obviously he's got three, he's three goals up now already yeah. Yeah. so he people are stepping up and that's what you want that's what you need and um it's looking good. It's looking good. Yeah, it's looking good, bro. It's looking good. We're going to get to Odegaard because I know yeah, Belgium yeah. Is, is, is always cussing me. I know you yeah, and yeah, Belgium yeah, always are very Belgium close, well. but he always cussing me about my love for, for Martin Odegaard. Yeah, but we'll get, we'll, to that. we'll get to that in a second. I do want to just um, just talk about just how, how much this team has come on since last season and, and, and it, can you see the change very evidently? Is it something you can buy into? Because going forward, there is going to be a tougher test, but mm -hmm. is there something that you think this Arsenal side can deal with? Yeah, I think... Again, the conversations that I had with fans this week was, you know, uh, what happens if you drop the ball? What happens? Mm -hmm. I said, you know what, bro? I'll be honest with you. We probably had all of the, the bad occasions or the, the worst scenarios. We had it last season. or We've had it the seasons before. So what worse can you do to us mm -hmm. mentally as fans? What worse can you do? We missed out on Champions League football. We said that we wasn't going to get players in. So for me, it's, it's a thing where the mentality of our players is a lot more stronger. Yeah. Um, someone mentioned about Ramsdale's interview after the Bournemouth game, I think it was. And it was talking about um, mentally we wasn't ready. Last season, we didn't experience it. We didn't know what to expect yeah. to cross that line. Now these players, they know what to do. Mm. Um, so that's why I'm like, you know what? I can see a difference, but it's... Bringing in those certain players, bringing in your Gabriel Jesus, um, Odegaard stepping up. Um, you got Saliba commanding the back, yep. and Ramsdale obviously doing what he was doing. He made some good saves, some key saves, and we did question him as well the start of the season, and he he definitely answered a few critics. But yeah, yeah I just think that we are we are definitely a lot more stronger mentally. Okay, Carlos, what do you Go say on. to the fans that say because you're right? I think we're going one nil down. Mm -hmm. That was a challenge that we haven't really seen from Arsenal. That they overcome it, done it really yeah. well. But what do you say to the fans that say, chill out, like, this is, you, it's only Fulham, it's only Bournemouth, it's Palace, you haven't faced City yet, you haven't done the Liverpools. What do you say to that? Because that is, that's what they're going to be saying. All I, look, what I said before is, if this was any other team, yeah, and they was playing the way that we've been playing the, other, the previous games, and it was Man City or Liverpool, you'd be like, oh yeah, you know what? It's title contenders, they're showing that, that <laughs> hunger. It's true. They, no, they're no, show, no, they're no, coming no, back. Yeah. yeah, they're coming back and, you know, they're proving that they can play football even on a bad day. These are the performances where you look at a team, you say, these lot could go the distance in terms of their backs against the wall. They're not playing the best of football, but they still manage to grind out a result. Mm. So I say to all them little haters, but I ain't got time for them. <laughs> brother, I ain't got time for them. Because I've had like, to listen to you lot for time. Long, yeah. bro. Now my team is stepping up. Mm. Look at the top of the table. It's no joke. Obviously, it's still early days, so we have to kind of rein it back in. I have to rein it back it's in. It's hard as Arsenal fan in it right now, because it's like, we know, look, look what we're seeing, we're liking it, we're right. totally, but it's like, it's early, yeah, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. battle. But these are the games where we used to falter. We used to drop points or we get found out. So it's good that we're collecting the three points. Now the biggest test will be, I mean, Villa is a big one in the week. And then we got United. And they've just got, they managed to grind out three points as well on a bad day. So those are the tests. Or that's where I'm looking at my team to see who steps up. Who does well, but no, apart from that, bro, I was, I was good. good. Yeah, I was good. And Ketia, though, and Ketia, brother, I beg you, please shoot, put the ball in the back of the net, bro. He had so many chances, he done very well coming off the bench. Arteta made a good change there, but those are the moments where him wearing that number 14 or signing a new contract, him being that 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 lead goal scorer for us, he's got to put that in the back of the net. But apart from that, boys, well done, top of the league. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.